There are a lot of reasons to love Kino M47 Phoenix coffee grinder. First one, it's truly universal. Meaning you can use this comfortably for Turkish coffee, espresso and proper, without losing convenience, quality and control. And secondly, it is extremely fast. Which makes me happy, especially when I make Turkish coffee and espresso. But for the proper, it's a nice touch as well. It feels like a machine. Everything is precise and thought out. And thirdly, the grind size adjustment. It is stepless. You can be as precise as you want, which is crucial for espresso. I've made separate videos with every brewing method, so you can check them. Body. The model M47 shares the same features in terms of the burr and grinding quality. And Phoenix is a simplified version, which has more plastic elements to reduce the cost. The body is made out of stainless steel and the shape is very ergonomic because of the widening at the top. It's easy to grab and hold reliably. It is 52 mm wide, so the grip will be comfortable for all of the palm sizes. And anti-slip band is super helpful and makes the grinder look even better. But because of the relatively narrow body, they made it tall. At the beginning I thought that it will fold if I shake the table, but it's pretty stable. Because of that we have a large area for holding. There is enough space for any palm. But one time I've tried to fill it with 40 grams of coffee and beans stuck at some point, so I needed to push them a little, though it happened only once. So it's just like narrow inside and sometimes beans compress the weird way and they can't go down. For regular doses up to 30 grams it was ok. Catch cup. At the bottom we have a catch cup which is made out of ABS plastic. It is super lightweight, but with the time you understand that it is pretty reliable. For me it is the advantage that it has an o-ring instead of thread, because that way it's easier to clean. But you have an option to get another cup, which I recommend you to do right away. Aluminium with o-ring and my favorite with the magnets. These jars will have a little to none static. I've even stopped using RDT, even though it's allowed here. A few taps from the side and it's clean, in the burr area. And they have anti-slip o-ring at the bottom, unlike the plastic version. By the way, as for any catch cup, I did not have experience with it falling off, so it's very reliable, either o-ring or this one. But if you do this, it'll make a sound, but the magnets are very strong. The handle. The handle is fixed. You can detach it for packing into a travel case, which is included. I like that construction, because there is no wiggling. Once you attach it, it's solid. Even the knob seems to have bearings, and it's the first grinder that comes with the knob that I don't want to change. No rattling or handling sound whatsoever. The handle is pretty long, but it's made to make it easier to grind. Though for proverber, which is available as an option, I would like to have a shorter handle, because it takes longer to grind and it's way easier to crank. The burrs. The axle which holds the burr is massive, but overall very simplistic. I expected more details. As for the burr, that's the reason why I decided to choose this grinder over all alternatives. It's made of hard steel. Unlike stainless steel, the hardness is 63HRC and possibly will stay sharp for longer. To not rust, they have black fusion treatment, which is special treatment for the burr. So it will be a little bit water resistant. And you can get a special burr for Prover. Even though the standard one is great, Prover will give a cleaner, more delicate flavor, smooth, with better balance. But it takes 40 seconds to grind 14 grams. I replace it when brewing some rare coffee. And it makes way easier to rotate it with super dense coffee beans. Switching the burr takes time, but it is effortless. The performance of the standard burr is well-rounded. In a prover it gives complex cup with medium punch, meaning contrast. While prover burr it may lose some complexity, but overall it's way smoother. For espresso and Turkish coffee the standard one is absolutely perfect. And the grinder has 5-year warranty. Grind size adjustment. 
It may take a bit longer than grinders with the clicks, but switching the grind size from Turkish coffee to Prover and back is mentally easier here. And the numbers are very helpful. It takes a few days to get used to, but after using it is hard to go back to clicks. The grind size starts from zero, which is usable. You can't lock the burrs here. It's made to save them, so they don't rub, because the harder the metal, the more brittle it'll become. So on zero setting you will get a powder. You can see like zero is... Don't, don't use it, it's too small, but if you want it can do this. The burrs are light with high precision. And a little hack. To easily rotate the dial and screw the knob for like 3-4 rotations and then lift the handle. Because there is an o-ring which will rub and create friction it will be harder to rotate. While the handle is lifted, it can be rotated with one finger, without any force. The lid. It doesn't come with the lid, but I've created one from PU, which is super solid and pleasant to use. It's available in my Etsy store. Without the lid, you'll have some coffee particles flying out from the top because of the popcorn effect. Some form of lid is highly advised. Grind size chart. Here are the settings which I prefer to use. And this probably will be helpful because the user manual does not have any. That's probably all that you need to know about it. The grinder with high longevity, good warranty and high performance.